start by reading the question. We need to support the conclusion. Uh, so that's pretty typical, but remember they can sometimes want us to weaken the conclusion, so we gotta be careful. So let's just start with the uh, passage. The intertropical convergence zone, ITCZ, a band of clouds that encircles Earth in the tropics and is a major rainfall source, shifts position in response to temperature variations across, across Earth's hemispheres. Data from Huagapo Cave in Peru suggests the ITCZ shifted south during the Little Ice Age. Okay, shifted south. But a shift as far south into South America as Huagapo should have led to dry conditions in Central America. I guess they're going to say it didn't happen. So uh, dry conditions should have led to dry conditions, which is inconsistent with climate models. So it should have happened, but it didn't. Inconsistent. Okay. To resolve the issue, geologist Yamane Asmaram and colleagues collected data from Yak Balloon Cave in Central America and compared them with the Huaguapo oh God, data. They concluded that during the Little Ice Age, the ITCZ may have expanded northward and southward rather than sifted. Okay. Oh my God. These names. The names kill me because it's such a waste of mental energy trying to pronounce everything. Okay. So what would support their conclusion? I don't know. So something with the dryness is going to matter. That's a strong idea, right? So I don't even... The conclusion, and whose conclusion? Asmaram. So they're the ones saying it, it expanded. Expanded, not shifted, right? Okay, so let's see if anything matches with this. Okay, neither the Yak Balloom data nor the Huagapo data show significant local variations in temperature during the Little Ice Age. No, if it expanded and Hagapo is supposed to be the place where it expanded to, then it should show a difference. So the fact that they're showing there's no, um, no local variation, the whole point is that there was a change in the climate, right? That's the whole point. And, and where it changed and, and how is kind of the, the issue here. So saying nothing changed is, I, I don't know, that feels wrong. Um, all right, let's look at B. Both the Yakbalum data and the Hagapo data show increased temperatures and prolonged dry conditions during the Little Ice Age. Well, no, it, it said right here that that's not what happened, that it didn't get drier. So that's just contradicted by what it says. C, the Yak Balloon data show prolonged dry conditions during the same portions of the Little Ice Age in which the Hagapo data show heightened levels of rainfall. No, again, th they're trying to say that both of these places should be like, this, uh, I hate this is going to kind of contradict what I said about A, but they're kind of, it's going to be that this shift affected both of them, I guess. Um, so uh, the dry conditions, yeah, no, again, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say. It says um, the climate models, yeah, the climate models, just, this is just contradicted by the climate models. It's the same part of this arrow, right? It's same, pointing the same plane. It's not drier. D, the Yak Balloon data and the Holgapo data show strongly correlated patterns of high rainfall during the Little Ice Age, right? Because if it expanded to both of these areas, then there's more rainfall because it says that. It's a major rainfall source. So it's D. Wow, this is just a mess though. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a hard module. You're going to have some hard questions. I get it. I'd be confident in D here, but I get that there's a lot of stuff to sort through. So notice how my dumb summary kind of leaves out the specific names and kind of just says, well, is there going to be a similarity or a difference between them? If it expanded, then that's going to be that they have the same conditions during the Ice Age. If it shifted, they would have different conditions, right? If it shifted. And, and that's what they're saying in the passages is, is they, they it didn't shift, right? The, the, this one, uh, one of the two things I can't pronounce had uh, conditions that did not change, right? So it's, it's confusing, but as much as possible, try to have some sort of dumb summary that you write down that, that just captures it in a very basic way so that you have something to go on because otherwise this is a lot to sort through. But I do think it's interesting that both B and C are just directly contradicted by the lines. So those, at the very least, you should be able to get rid of. Hard question. Um, made harder by all the unpronounceable names, so try not to waste a lot of brain power trying to pronounce them.